Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to test out which is the best material to glue. Because glue is pretty good, but quite often the material that you are trying to glue is not very good. And then you have a big hole on the wall or something like that. And today we are going to find out what is the best material. Walls are the worst, that I know. And uh, we have here four materials competing. We have plastic, wood, steel and uh, brick. And it's like concrete brick or something like that. So plenty of materials and the rules are sim simple. We have like pair of materials. Here is plastic and wood. And we are going to rip these apart and then the glue is going to be stick more to plastic or more to wood. And the material that has more glue left is going to go to the next round. That's the idea. And this video is sponsored by What the fuck glue. World's toughest fix. Yeah, but you see what they did here. It's it's what the fuck glue. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they have multiple glues like different flavors for different uses. And it's like pretty clear what you should use where and there is nice instruction on the tubes and everything. And uh, we have been using these for some time. The most of the bunker is held together <laughs> <Yeah>. with <laughs> what the fuck glue. Stuff like bulletproof windows, mm -hmm. echo removal panels and stuff like that. And yeah, these have been really easy to use. Yep. And they don't smell like death. Yeah, that's true. And, and all the stuff on the table, it's glued with extreme... <laughs> extreme tack. Extreme tack. This is the maximum crap, like... Crap like, crapping something, not yeah. like crap like shit. <laughs> not the crap. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah crap. but maximum crap, what the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. And one interesting thing that I didn't know about gluing, there's probably many things. <laughs> but one thing that I didn't know is the fact that you shouldn't crush these together like mm. really flat. It's better if there is like uh, like three to four millimeters of glue. So it's, it can like stretch a little bit if the load is uneven. Mm. But uh, we are going to test that claim. We have here two pair of steels. Steel against steel, because I think the steel is the best material to glue together and in general also. Steel is the, steel is the absolute best. Mm. So I want to first test that claim that it's better to have it like thicker than thinner. And after that we are going to go to the competition rounds. Okay. Okay. Didn't look very dramatic. And the moment of the truth. Oh ho! Oh ho! Wow! Oh ho! That's I think that's what the fuck territory there. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking yeah. that my 500 is like yeah. way overkill. Was that the with the push or not? With this the was push? without. Without the push. Holy shit! Ugh. Oh. Is it like... Looks like this. And this is the amount of glue that we had there. Mm. And I have to say that it, it sticks really well because there is still glue on the both parts. Mm. So it's, it, it's just the strength of the glue material, not the like stickiness. Yeah, but looking like pretty cool so far. Let's try the one that yeah. we have crushed together quite yeah. hard. Yeah, same deal. Now we have thinner layer of glue. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is the thing that we are most interested on. Hey! Oh. Hey! Let's see how much was there glue. Uh, hmm. Where is the second one that we crossed ask? I would say that this one has slightly less glue, but not like half less. Mm. So I think it's better to have like a bit thicker layer. 
Yeah. Yeah, this wasn't like we didn't plan this. The most of them are glued like pretty thinly. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to try if it's like higher results like this. But the main question, like what is the best material to glue? It's because it's still stick here. Mm. It's just the actual glue is weaker. Okay, let's let's try the competition. Yeah. Okay, now we have wood versus plastic, and the plastic is polycarbonate. And I'm going to put the nut sticking up because the wood is so thick. And this has also quite thick layer of glue, like maybe even more than the steel on the start. Yeah. So should be really strong. Yeah. I'm, I don't know why they always open from the back, mm. where we don't feel them. But let's see, there's still 50 kilos. 650. Whoa. And let's see, does it... Okay, hey, now we have some results. Uh-oh, oh, you broke it. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, but here yeah. we have a clear winner. Yeah. It uh, strips the wood, the surface of the food, food, food. <laughs> out, <laughs> out. So the plastic is better mm -hmm. than wood. Hey, and I have to also say that I have a broken finger and I still rip this part with my bare hands. So yeah. I'm also pretty strong. You are so strong. And now we have brick versus steel. And this seems to be a pretty thin application, mm -hmm. so not best gluing job from my part. <laughs> but uh, we are going to still get our answer here, I'm, I'm sure. I, I think the steel is going to win this one. The, the, like the brick is probably easier to grab, but it's again weaker probably than the glue itself. What is I, your opinion? I think because brick is more like, you know... Yeah, porous. Yeah. This is like... Niin niin. Yeah. I know all the words. Yeah, you know, I don't. So I think that's why it's stronger. Yeah. Because the glue is in it. Yeah. I think it's not enough. I think, I think it can still grab the steel, no problem. Okay. But the brick is too weak. Here we go. Uh, okay, that's... That's surprising. Let's go have a look. And we have cleaned all the surfaces before gluing, like get the dust away and use like brake cleaner. To remove all crease and stuff. Yeah, let's see. Only oh. 100 kilos. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is, you can see ah. that there is brick on the glue. Yeah. But there is also some glue in the brick. Yeah, but as you see, it's like, this is like, mm. it's like, Ow. no matter what you do, like brick concrete is always a bit dusty. Mm. So I think that uh, steel is the clear winner. And now we have already final. Mm. We have the plastic versus steel. And I'm not sure is there going to be any winners or losers. Okay, so the plastic and steel, both really like the glue. They don't want to let go. And now we have those two together, so let's see which is better. I think the steel is better. Okay. Because you see, the steel has the like surface finish from the saw, mm. so it's, oh, it's yeah. much rougher than the plastic. True. But I'm not sure if there's some like chemical fuckery going around mm -hmm. with the glue and the plastic. Is there some chemical adhesion? Maybe. Might be. Might be. Only one way to find out. They let go much faster when there is less glue, mm. or like thinner glue. Okay, first the mm -hmm. force. 300. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely use like thick, mm. thick layer of glue. I think that's the like, that's the thing that we learned today. Yeah. It's really interesting. Oh. Hey, I have to say that the plastic wins. 
Look, you yeah, don't, there, is more there is like, glue. there is more glue on the plastic, way more glue on the plastic. That's really surprising. Mm. I thought that the steel is like so rough mm. that there is more to stick into, but no, it's, it's the plastic. Let's try the glass. One. Hey, let's, let's, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why we have this, but it's, 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 a, it's glass against steel, so let's try this. <laughs> Crack sound. It's no, no, no. Morning. Okay. Nice looking thing. Okay. That's the glue action of today. And the best material to glue is polycarbonate from these four. How you <laughs> show four with this. And I think the like biggest learning today was the fact that use more glue. Put like three to four millimeters there between the materials and it's going to hold much, much more. And what the fuck, well, toughest fix, the thousand kilograms with the steel against steel, I think that's quite much. I have to also say that their glue guns or what the fuck are these? Yeah, yeah, something like that. These are really nice. They have two different models for different products. The red one has really, really high lever ratio here, so it pushes relatively small amount of glue with each press, but it's really light to use because this is thick as hell, the extreme crap. And then the second one that they have is more like uh, thinner things, and that has adjustable lever ratio here, so you can choose how much glue comes out with each squeeze, so that's nice. This is also uh, high-end thing, this has multiple contact points to the rod, so the rod doesn't wear out. Yeah, but it, it's, it's super nice. And you can find this from hardware stores here in Finland, and then it's coming also into States as we speak, and I'm not sure about the other countries, I can put list where it is this available down here, somewhere around here, the current situation, it's growing all the time, the availability of this, so hopefully you all can get it this soon, when you need some what the fuck glue. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. <laughs>